and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the first annual Lake Sunapee's Got Talent, brought to you by the Center for the Arts Lake Sunapee Region. You will have a chance to vote for your favorite act, and the winner will receive the People's Choice Award, which includes $500 of cash and prizes. The judges will be voting on the Rising Star Award, and the winner will receive $500 scholarship. Our MC for the evening is Lindsay Lund Harkins. She is honored to be your host for the evening. So let's welcome Lindsay. Thank you. Thank you so much. I am so thrilled to be able to be your MC for the evening. And um, it's just an honor to uh, celebrate the Center for the Arts. And I know this wasn't exactly how we wanted to go about showcasing our talents, but I really think that everybody has risen to the occasion. Mom. And I just, oh my, working from home. Oh I told you I'm busy. Ah, hold on. Okay. Anyway, it's my pleasure to introduce the judges to you now. Hi, I'm Missy Owen. Hi, my name is Laura Hyde. I'm Michael Brown. Thank you, judges, short and sweet. How about we get right down to the talent? Now remember, you can log on to centerforthearts.nh.org at any time and vote for your crowd favorite and also the judges are going to be picking a student for the scholarship award so buckle up we've got some great entertainment and i can't wait for you to see the show let's kick off the town with the ferns family band the ferns family band a trio that hails from wilmot new hampshire has an innate ability to create their own unique originals while also performing cover songs inspired by singer songwriters of the past and today's current musicians. Kick it off, Fern Family Band. Hello, we are the Ferns, and we will be doing a cover of Bleach Blonde Blues by Larkin Poe. <laughs> Each long bottle blue baby got a sharp fuse blue bomb sure as clear where I'm leaning She been every with seeing everything started on the beach screen Y'all yeah. gonna bet on that is it ooh ooh Child of what you gonna do is it ooh ooh Child of what you got I said ooh ooh Child of what you gonna do with a beach long boat Shell pink, Cadillac, cherry, cool, a six track, popping and fuse. Hits you like a hammer. She's turning her head with the green legs, you know, on the big screen. Yeah, gonna bet on that. I said, ooh, ooh, child, what you gonna do? I said, ooh, ooh, child, what you got? I said, ooh, ooh, child, what you gonna do with them? Big storm mode. Oh, you gonna Black first kiss. Oh, you gotta ride at your own risk. You gotta ride at your own risk. Oh, you gotta die. Yes, so go and leave me while you get it. Oh, you gotta ride at your own risk. You gotta ride at your own risk. You gotta get on it. You gotta get on it. You gotta get on it. Travel in my good shoes, a stomping shape. Take pity on me. I've been every with seen everything that wanna come clean. Yo, I say what I mean. I mean, ooh, ooh, just say what you mean. I mean, ooh, ooh, just say what you mean. I mean, ooh, ooh, child, what you gonna do with that beach? Don't 
slightly unaccomplished and very old at this point. But I think I got my smirk down like you do, Mara. How's that? That's pretty good. All right. In the interest of time, we're going to cut it down to just one judge's comment, but way to go, guys. Loved it, loved it. Always in awe of the ferns. Let's hear from our judge. Wonderful. Um, great sound. Uh, you all blended together very well. You, work, you all worked very well together. Uh, the young lady who sang lead, it was awesome to hear such a big sound come out of a, such a, a small person. Um, great job, folks. Thank you, Fern Family Band. Let's give it up for our next contestant, Sophia Upton, who is almost 13 years of age. She began her career within the arts at the mere age of one year old. Sophia's passion for the arts and the study of dance in particular is a monumental aspect of her life. She wants to continue her dance career into adulthood and strives towards a professional career in the future. And I think she is well on her way, friends. Yeah. Hey. 
Sophia, that was amazing. That was so cool. I mean, I too kind of consider myself somewhat of a contortionist, but I gotta tell you, sweetie, you got you got grace. And that's what it's all about. Nice job, Sophia. I was so impressed. You're graceful, you're steady, and you're strong. The fact that you did a slow routine really shows your strength. And one more thing, I'd love to be able to put my foot to my head, but that will never happen. Good job. Thank you, Missy. You said that so much more demurely than I did. But moving on, let's focus on our next contestant, Oliver Andrews, who is a talented violinist hailing from Andover, New Hampshire. He was selected to play at the governor's inauguration in 2019 and earned state recognition for the prestigious MTNA competition. Oliver began studying the violin at the Upper Valley Music Center when he was only three years old. And I think it's going to show how much he's practiced since. Let's tune in. was amazing. I actually looked up the term chardas and it means a Hungarian dance with a slow introduction and a fast wild finish and I think you nailed it through and through. Way to go. Let's hear from our judge. Oliver, awesome. 
I, uh, I enjoy the violin is one of my favorite instruments to, to listen to someone play. You played it very well. Um, I enjoyed some of the emotions that you showed, facial emotions that you showed throughout, uh, throughout the piece. Um, awesome job. You're a very talented young man. Thank you again, Oliver and Michael, for your wonderful comments. It is my privilege and honor to introduce the next two contestants, Steve and Renee Patton, who are both graduates of Kearsarge Regional High School and lifelong residents of this region, and they've made Bradford their home for the past 21 years. The Pattons raised one daughter, Morgan Renee Patton, who was the victim of a tragic homicide in November 2019. With inspiration from Natalie and choreography from her sister, Megan Maver, Steve and Romanet perform this routine in honor of their greatest creation ever.
It's Team Renee, that was such a serene and graceful dance, and we are honored that you chose to share such a beautiful and touching tribute to Morgan with us all. Thank you. Uh, Steve and Renee, what a lovely, serene performance. Um, I feel so calm after watching you dance, which is really you know, a big thing to say in these trying times. Um, I loved the connection that the two of you have with each other, and I really loved your interpretation of the music. It was so beautiful, especially that feeling that we got in those lifts. They, were, they just had so much float to them. Um, so wonderful performance. Congratulations. Thank you, Steve, Renee, and Laura again. All right, all you crazy cats and kittens. Are you ready for the next act? Because I'm so excited. She is Kurosawa's most vocal sopranos. She has two CDs under her belt. And when she's not singing, she is performing duties as a wellness nurse at the LSVNA in hospice. Let's hear it for Lori Ann Smerald. <laughs> More than the greatest love the world has known This is the love I give to you alone More than the simple words I try to say I only live to love you more each day more than you'll ever know my arms on to hold you so my life will be in your keeping waking sleeping laughing weeping longer than always is a long long time but far beyond forever you'll be mine I know is the love I give to you alone. More than the simple words I try to say, I only live to love you more each day. More than you'll ever know my arms, long to hold you so my life will be in your keeping, waking, sleeping, laughing, weeping. Longer than always is a long, long time. But far beyond forever, you'll be mine. I know I never loved before, and my heart is very sure. No one else could love you. I think you found your niche as a jazz singer. You have an infectious energy. You really know how to connect with the audience. And I loved how, as you went through the key changes, you really started to jazz it up and go in and out of the melody. So I can't wait to hear more. No pun intended. Pow. Pow is right. Tip of the hat to you, lady. Good job, Lori. Thank you so much, too, Missy, for your comments. Coming up next is Angela Tarleton and the Wonder Dog, Zoe. Our beloved Angela is a member of the Board of Directors for the Center of the Arts and also a co-founder of the Kearsarge Conservatory of the Performing Arts with her husband, Kevin. And we are so blessed to have her in our community. And um, I could just go on and on and on, but I think I'll just let her teachings show for themselves with Zoe the Wonder Dog because if she can teach my daughter she could teach the dog wait she could teach a dog I don't know she's a really good teacher she's amazing and love her Mwah. Dog Zoe's been to charm school and since 
systems that we know is that doggies should be seen and not heard unless they're asked to speak. Good girl. Now come over here, Zoe. Let's show them how, what other manners you have. Shake right. Shake left. Which there's your breath. It's a little slippery on this floor, isn't it? Very good girl. Okay, Zoe. Let's get a treat. All right, when she's done with her treats, we want to show you that Zoe also has studied the arts. Okay, Zoe. Let's go to the ballet bar. Let's go to the bar. Come on, let's go to the bar. Up to the bar. Good job. Look at her plie. All right, now let's show Zoe. Let's show them that you know how to do ball and dancing. Up. Up, all the way up. Come on. Up we go. Good girl. See, and we're doing our ball and dancing. Good girl. Okay, Zoe. Let's show them that you have actually been to school and you know your math. We're going to start with addition. So, Zoe, not yet. Not yet. We need patience. Okay, Zoe. Three. Zoe and Angela, it's really wonderful to see the two of you sharing the stage together for a performance. Um, Zoe, as a ballerina myself, I'm very happy to see that you also know the importance of a daily ballet bar. Um, your math skills are better than mine because I would have needed a calculator and uh, you show way more restraint around your favorite treats than I do. So congratulations, Zoe. Um, and to both Angela and Zoe, the love, admiration, and respect that the two of you have for each other is really evident and beautiful to see. Um, you're both really lucky to have each other, especially during these really trying times. They leave paws, paw prints on our heart. So congratulations, Angela and Zoe. I honestly don't know who's more adorable. Angela, Zoe, or Laura. But I tell you what, I got a dog. She knows tricks. Pearl, get out of my seat. See? That's how you show them who's boss. Coming up next is Christy and Elizabeth Upton. Cannot wait to see this interpretive dance that they've got going for us. Stay tuned.
Christy and Elizabeth Upton. Amazing job together. I, I really enjoyed this dance piece. You two have it was it was so cohesive. Uh, there was a lot of melting into each other, which was very unique. Um, great job with taking some risks there with some of those moves. It really paid off. It it looked awesome. Uh, great job, you all. Thanks again, Christy, Elizabeth, and Michael. And coming up next is a top ensemble of Olivia Brown, Allison Callahan, Emily Swindell, and Christy Upton performing. Feet Don't Fail Me Now. Laura, what did you think? Tap Ensemble, you entertained me so much. Um, I had a really big smile on my face the entire time, so it was a fun surprise that we got in your performance. Um, because not only are you great tap dancers, but you are fantastic comedic actors as well. Um, you all have really lovely deep plies, and we're getting nice, clear, and crisp tap sounds. And I loved how your choreography integrated percussion with the walkers in with your rhythms uh, with your tap sounds. Um, so I hope that your dance inspires many people to celebrate aging. Um, I sure hope that I will be tap dancing when I'm in my 80s with a walker. Um, so congratulations. Great job. Thank you so much, Tap Ensemble and Laura, for your comments. Coming up next, and our last performer of the evening is Amita Ayer, who is an 8-year-old soprano singer from Sunapee, New Hampshire. Oh, 
Broadway stage, you would not need to be mic'd. You have great breath support, you have great control, and even your higher range is really strong. I see great success in your future. Thank you so much for sharing your talent with us. A definite powerhouse indeed. Thank you, Missy and Amita. That concludes our talent portion of the evening. Make sure you log on to centerforthearts.nh.org and place your vote. On behalf of the Center for the Arts, thank you for joining us tonight for our first online scholarship fundraiser. I hope you've enjoyed the first half. I know I have. The acts have been fabulous and I can't wait to see what's coming up in the second half. I wanted to take a moment to thank all of the participants in tonight's show. All of the acts, the KCPA dance ensembles coming up in the second half, the judges, Missy Owens, Michael Brown, and Laura Hyde, our fabulous MC, Lindsay Lund Harkins, the production crew, Angela Charlton from KCPA, and Greg Yearn from YCN. The show will be rebroadcast on YCN this week and will also be online on the CFA YouTube channel for future viewing. And I'd also like to thank the many sponsors and donors who contributed to our scholarship fund and the online auction. The auction ends tomorrow, so get those last bids in tonight. A complete list of our sponsors and donors will be on our website and will also be at the end of this show. I'd especially like to mention our major sponsors, Clark's Hardware, North Cape Design Build, Kearsarge Conservatory of the Performing Arts, and YCN News, your local view. Thank you all. If you have not already done so, I encourage you to make a contribution to our scholarship fund online. You can do this by going to our website. All donations, big and small, are greatly appreciated. 
and will go directly to help creative students in the Lake Sunapee region become the artists, performers, and writers of tomorrow. And lastly, please don't forget to vote for your favorite act. One of them will become the 2020 People's Choice Award winner. We'll be counting the votes tonight and we'll make the announcement tomorrow. You can vote online by going to our website and clicking the link for voting. So sit back and enjoy the rest of the show. Good luck to everyone and have a great evening.
somehow.